In most cases where vulnerable members of society have called for help, others have come in numbers and without hesitation to donate whatever they can to ease their neighbor's hardship. In June, NBC News aired a story about an unemployed Ventuk resident, Esther Abraham, whose 11-year-old son lives with a condition known as cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy is a permanent movement disorder that occurs in the underdeveloped brain of a child. Symptoms include poor coordination as well as stiff and weak muscles. Abraham, a mother of three at the time, had appealed for assistance to buy a special wheelchair valued at $17,000 for her son, Herman Cornelius. Among those who came to her aid was local businesswoman, Esther Shirimela, who donated money towards the wheelchair, and the Capital Coastal Social Club, who donated groceries including special formula milk and diapers for Herman, valued at about $5,000. I heard that she needed um, a special wheelchair uh, that will cost uh, around seventeen thousand Namibian dollars. So I came to his um, rescue and um, I personally donated seventeen thousand Namibian dollars to buy the wheelchairs of the child. Unfortunately. Uh, we couldn't raise enough money for a wheelchair, but as our social responsibility as a social group, uh, as I mentioned, the guys from Wolfish Bay and Vinduk, we call it the Vinduk uh, uh, Coastal Capital uh, Social Group, we decided that we will, you know, raise money. And uh, as you can see, that's what we have bought with the money we have raised. And uh, the guys responded promptly to the call. And uh, this, is, this will not be the first, and uh, it definitely won't be the last. Abraham expressed her gratitude to those who heard her plea. I'm very grateful, and this is a blessing to us. There are good Samaritans out there who care about us. I have a family, and before I went on air, I asked them for help, but they couldn't come to my rescue. And that is why I plead to the public, because I had no other option. Thank you very much. Julana Fuka, NBC News, Ventuk.